Hello there guys, what is up? It is Matt here and uh, today I'm having a really good day. Um, within the past hour or so, uh, I've just been uh, talking to the CEO of uh, Red Light Broadcasting. Uh, now, Red Light Broadcasting is a um, community channel which um, helps people uh, who are quite low in the subs on YouTube and some who are quite high, I mean high as in like 2000s, stuff like that, um, get to where they need to be on YouTube, for example, partnership, directorship. And uh, today I became a director of um, the uh, Red Light Recon, which is basically um, FPS games, fighting, action, you name it, just anything like that. And I'm having such a good day. But <laughs> aside from that, um, aside from being the director, um, basically, uh, this is my uh, my first game into MW2 again. I stopped playing MW2 uh, in, say, October of. 2012 because uh, I I got into quite a lot of hacked lobbies and I was actually quite surprised because I know COD 4 and COD 5 are the most hacked uh, games on Xbox like for Call of Duty wise at the minute but I, I just I, I, f I lost my love for MW2 because MW2 it's uh, in my like favorite CODs it goes COD 4 MW2 and then I'm, I won't explain after that but MW2, I lost my love for it, but since I got it back, I mean, I bought it back a couple of weeks ago, I am loving it. It's so good. I mean, this was my first free-for-all game that I got into. Uh, I'm quite weak and quite rusty at the minute uh, with my sniper because um, I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 3 and I'm not used to quick scoping or anything like that. But, you know, I, I'm actually glad I've started playing it again. And... I'm glad there's no hackers because I think they've done quite a lot of clearing on the community with hackers and uh, I'm actually quite glad they have because in my opinion hackers ruin games and that's what I want to talk about in this kind of commentary uh, hackers and just everything about hackers like uh, the Woody's Gamertag uh, somebody kept hacking Woody's Gamertag's live streams and in my opinion I mean I love Woody's Gamertag because he's such a good YouTuber and he's so awesome, but I think it ruins it because when he was trying to do his live stream, um, basically what happened was this uh, hacker kept kind of disconnecting his internet, uh, somehow getting into his internet and disconnecting it like that. And to be honest, I think that's really pathetic. What's the point in ruining somebody's live stream or any anything like that, like ruin anybody's game just for the fun of it, uh, like? Uh, give you an example of a game, the Wazzy at the minute. Uh, I used to hate the Wazzy because just just because I thought it was a copy of Daisy, but now I'm, I'm actually starting to really like it. But the only one problem about the Wazzy at the minute is the amount of hackers on it. Like you, you've got people running around no clipping, you've got people aimbotting, and I think it's just pathetic. In my, if I was a hacker, I would admit to it. I mean, because obviously I wouldn't be a hacker because that's just stupid and I think it's wrong hacking somebody's game but yeah if I was a hacker if somebody caught me I would live up to the consequences I'd be like yeah I'm sorry I was hacking the game I won't do it again but obviously I'd have to pay consequences because that guy who hacked Woody's Gamertag's internet when he was streaming he's gone to prison and he he did go to court and they did send him to prison because ha hacking's a criminal offence in my opinion I see it as a criminal offence um, and I'm sure a lot of other people do as well because it's just say say if you're um, say if you're really into for example Black Ops 2 say if you're really into Black Ops 2 and you're about to prestige say if you're the top prestige you're about to prestige and then suddenly out of nowhere you log back in the next day you're like oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna level up and we're gonna prestige this game and then suddenly you get kicked out of the game you find out that you have um, that you have um, just been deranked, and if that happened to me, I would be so annoyed. Like seriously, so annoyed. I think I'd probably I'd I'd uh, write to Treyarch, Treyarch, and complain, um, and I'd find out who did it because I think it's pathetic. And you know what? I think any hacker deserves to be punished in that way, and. Uh, yeah, as I said, I think it's just pathetic, and they they do need to they do need to like have a consequence. I mean, there should be a forum. I mean, there probably is. I don't know, but there should be a forum for everybody who hacks on a game, and then basically they get like say they get um, 
what's it called, they get uh, contacted and then something happens to them because you know what, it's just pathetic and that is, in my opinion, that's what I think about hackers. But anyway guys, I will leave you with the rest of this commentary, I'm gonna head to bed now, uh, see you soon guys, uh, hope you like this commentary, subscribe for more, subscribe to Red Light Broadcasters, Broadcasting, sorry, and um, subscribe to the other Red, uh, red Light channels, uh, peace out guys, bye.